Sagittarius. Hi, welcome to your April uh, message from spirit. I already said my prayer so we can actually just get started. <clears throat> I have a Sagittarius stellium. My moon, my Venus, my MC, and Neptune is all in Saggy. So um, I feel very Saggy most of my life. <laughs> so let's see if there's a message in here even for me. For April, um, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you count Jupiter and North Node, those are also very important placements when you're watching a reading. And definitely don't forget to check out your other placements. I am almost done with the April. I just have Earth signs to do next. I already did uh, air, water, now fire. Uh, you're the last of the fire signs. So um, let's see what the message is for Saggy for April. Thank you so much for everyone that likes, that shares, that subscribes, that no donates to the channel, that that uh, purchases, <clears throat> that sends decks, that schedules readings with me. The information will be in the description box below. Thank you, thank you, thank you on my website to schedule your reading with me. Yes, this is beautiful energy here, Saji. I'm getting a, a, a very light energy in your energy. Uh, a huge shift in the vibration here for you, okay? Uh, if you have been feeling stress, uh, Spirit is asking you right now to surrender to, to play to your inner child, to also release any kind of, to give yourself permission to play, to raise your vibration, okay, to balance out the energy, dance, whatever is fun for you to do, okay, take a few deep breaths, I feel like you're coming, you're releasing stress, you're alchemizing the energy as Sagittarius tends to do. Take a break from overthinking a goal. You're being asked to let go. I actually just posted uh, last night, or is it this morning? I think it was last night, a let go affirmations that I personally have been listening to. Life changing. Yesterday was the first time that I listened to this let go affirmation. And I actually felt for, a, for, for the first time in a long time, my body just really completely surrender and relax by the end of that, that affirmation. Uh, so much so that I actually am feeling called uh, to, to I, I, what the, the, the change that I made was instead of just listening to it without my headphones, which, which was what I was doing, I put my headphones in and I, and I was listening to the affirmations with my headphones. And that was the difference that it made. So definitely work on that. I also uh, meditated with Archangel Shamuel. You're being asked to take several deep breaths in meditation and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. So your shoulders, you could be feeling a lot of tension. Uh, so I guess release, release, release. Work Work on your root chakra to ground your energies. Spend time in nature. Uh, let the stress go as you come back to center, okay? Beautiful energy here of play, of releasing stress, of meditation, letting go and allowing, okay, for everything to unfold. We are in the middle of eclipse season. We just finished coming out of the solar eclipse. <clears throat> Surrender your desire to control. Release control, okay, of your attachments, of the results. Open up to receive love and support. Um, so the solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, we just finished having, really does help to put us, to course correct us and put us on our destined path. It has everything to do with our destiny, where we're meant to go, where we're meant to be. It's helping us to release our south node and putting us on our north node. It's a sudden ending, sudden shift, sudden new beginnings. People are still receiving tower moments in their life. Uh, this this energy is going to play out between three to six months. You're going to be in a completely different life, energy, vibration in that in this time frame. It's important that you do follow your intuition, though. Yeah, surrender to receiving love and support here. Release the drama. If there is any in your energy, there is none in mine. So, but again. You never know, right? Uh, what again? Like I said, thing, things are still like this. So be very flexible at this time. Be very adaptable. I feel like you're handling everything with grace, with the surrendering to play. You're finding the humor in things here. I feel like you are actively working on releasing any kind of tension and stress. If you feel it, um, Sagittarius energy doesn't like to feel restricted in any way. It's a sign of freedom, higher learning, philosophers, right? Uh, higher education and higher learning, uh, positivity and uh, expansion of consciousness, 
Sagittarius needs to have see the bigger picture, like have a lot of uh, open mind. So we have surrender to receiving love and support. Allow, open up, see arms wide open here. The God source, the universe is sending you help. Arms wide open here, arms wide open here. Palms up. The more you surrender to meditation and play and you enjoy and, and, you know, just be right in the present moment. The more love and support is sent to you. The divine is sending you earth angels to help you with anything that you need. So ask for help and then open up to receive. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. Sagittarius can be a very independent energy as well. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. <clears throat> Look, there you are. I can't make this stuff up. Looking at the bigger picture, Sagittarius energy here. Full moon in Sagittarius, right? Your hard work is paying off right now. So keep going, okay? Keep doing what you're doing, but definitely take time out to play. I feel like you are taking pleasure and finding joy in your work and the things that you're doing. There's a good balance here between work and play, right? A work-life balance. Uh, maybe being around children, watching a comedy. I feel like if you're being guided to like, Take a break, take a break, go for a walk, spend time in nature, watch a movie, right? You could be focused so much on, on a goal here that uh, is taking you, might be taking you a little bit out of balance. <clears throat> what else here? I love the colors, like yellow, orangish here. So solar plexus and sacral, balancing out the masculine and the feminine. Yeah, you've been healing for a while. I feel like you're at this point right now where you are clearly seeing the bigger picture of everything that went down in your situation. You're being asked to zoom out. <clears throat> what else is Sagittarius? I saw a storm warning for April. The world. This came out for uh, Leo as well. First card out just like this. So expansion. Reaching a, a whole, and feeling whole, complete, reaching success, reaching the end of a very tough cycle or of, or of a cycle, okay? And um, moving into a new cycle. The world is completion. Didn't I say balance? <laughs> there it is, the angel of balance and root chakra. The root chakra is what's gonna help you here. Archangel call and Archangel Michael to cut you loose. Again, again, uh, Sagittarius does not like to feel restricted or tied up in any way, shape, or form. So when you feel this way, you do, you know, the things that you that you do, right? There, you create some kind of a plan, some kind of a strategy. You do, uh, you listen to your intuition and you do the things that you need to do to break yourself free from any kind of restriction or feeling suffocated or tied up. Archangel Michael is here. Uh, ask for help and Archangel Michael will send you the help if you feel like you know you're feeling stuck in some kind of situation that you don't want to be in or stuck in your head or stuck on something on, so, on some kind of a goal spirit is said take a step back from it give it a breather you know move, zoom out to restore the balance okay you are you, you, Saturn is saying bravo Saturn, Saturn is the world card you you're learning lessons you're completing a lesson you're reaching the end your work your hard work is paying off your loved ones are safe <clears throat> I don't know if you guys could see that it's kind of blurry there it is look at the bigger picture of your situation but the angel the angel of balance is here helping you to restore the balance to come back to center to ground your energy so this is root chakra this is talking about fit, your groundedness your stability your security your self-sufficiency responsibility for yourself this is physical body this is if you're feeling the tension if you're feeling anxiety if you're feeling worry stress frustration irritation you know distracted right um this is our call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael. If you're feeling fear as well, Archangel Michael steps in and, and helps you here, okay, with your root chakra. Sagittarius, Pisces, or and also any of the, the, the air signs uh, are the signs that, that needs to work on grounding the most, 
okay? So we can anchor in, feel the sense of belonging, feel whole within our own and feel safe in our own uh, frame, structure, I heard. So this stress here, you've been asked to just take a step back right now. All right. At the end, I am going to go back around and do, as soon as I'm done with all the April, which I will be done with all the April readings this week, then I'm going to go back around and do all the love readings. So definitely look out for that. But I am in the end of this reading going to pull Romance Angels as well for April. <clears throat> but if love does show up, we'll definitely talk about it. What else is Sagittarius here? Yeah, look, look, ships are coming. You have a manifestation that's coming in for you, okay? That's why Spirit is saying, take your foot off the gas pedal, relax, kick your feet up, okay? Just continue to be in this flow energy. This is bigger picture energy here. Trusting in divine timing. Having foresight, planning for the future. This is, along with the world card, is an energy of expansion, is an energy of... Some of you guys could be traveling. Again, Sagittarius loves to travel. So some of you guys could be guided to travel this, this, this summer. You could be moving abroad. Okay, but there is a planning that you're doing here for the future. There's a lot of visualizations. You're putting a lot of... So basically, you're being asked to take action here on the next step. Okay, ask and pray for direction. Ask and pray for what that next step is for you. Follow your intuition. Okay, you are extremely talented and gifted and creative. You're an alchemist, Sagittarius. But your thoughts, you're as above, so below. It's time to take action, or somebody's getting ready to take action. Your manifestation is coming to fruition. Whatever you've been focused on, whatever you've been working on, the goal. Um, with the magician card, it's coming to fruition for you. Watch your thoughts. You could be seeing one, one, one. Your thoughts are becoming a reality pretty fast. <clears throat> ground at your, uh, yeah, I did say ground. What else is Sagittarius for April? There you are. Passion is being ignited, ignited here, taking inspired action. It is time for it is time for the next action. Okay. But don't be hasty. Again, create the good balance here for yourself. So feeling, you know, uh, feeling the fire, okay? Heart shock or your heart is guiding you. Your desire to follow your passions, to follow your desires, feeling this uh, vitality, this energy, this momentum come. Yeah, the spirit is saying <laughs> moderation, right? Having the confidence and the courage and the bravery here. You know, taking your look and more fire. We got Leo here, more fire. There is that three of wands again. <clears throat> this is where the balance comes in. With, that, with the strength, finding the inner and outer strength, having moderation and self-control. Release any kind of self-doubt when it comes to what you're guided to take action on. Okay, uh, definitely. Uh, I don't know why I heard hold back. Having self-control here. So you're not being too hasty. So again, I don't know why I heard shiny object syndrome. You know, it's like, so it's like if you start something, that's why the grounding is here. If you start something, if you start a project or something or anything you're working on, it's important that we stay consistent. We stay committed to it. Stay loyal, stay devoted, stay dedicated. Strength card, right? Uh, strength, strength begins with the choice to be kind to myself. Um, having a lot of patience, something here that you're waiting on or that you've been working towards is requiring patience. The three of wands is a card of divine timing. It's like, I feel like, okay, thank you, spirit. Okay. I feel like you're wanting to break free from something and you just want to like, you, you're feeling this, this pull, this, I don't know why I heard rebellion. You're feeling this pull, to, a pull, a pull. You're feeling a pull right? To break free from something here, to free yourself from something, to liberate yourself from something right here. 
but it's like it needs i feel like it, your, your overall plan is good but it needs patience and planning it needs a, a strategy that's why i feel like you are in the process of of there, there's a need to come to center come to center and balance yourself out here i'm also getting someone could be finding the courage and the strength to take some kind of action towards you you're very clear there's a sense of independence and freedom here a lot of self-love a lot of self-sufficiency okay it's like you're speaking your you're speaking your manifestations what you're wanting what you're desiring what you're manifesting into your reality <clears throat> so a, a many car we have three cards here of confidence so a lot of confidence a lot of certainty <sighs> that? you and your loved ones are safe time to give rather than take meditate so a lot of so, so you you i feel like you can feel the success i feel like you're waiting for the for the next step to come in but your your plans are paying off your your plans for the future like i said you're saying it out loud you're thinking it you're speaking it you're writing it and it's coming to fruition for you but there's still okay um again surrender to receiving love and support there's a lot of independence here extreme independence is a trauma response ask for help from the divine from the angels to restore some kind of a balance in your life you could be doing everything on your own by yourself again it's helping with the strength yes but i i, I feel like it, it might have something to do with some kind of an ego <clears throat> be kind to yourself open up here to receive the help call in you know work with the angels archangel michael raphael shamuel metatron Your hard work, again, is paying off here, okay? Everything is coming to fruition for you. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Knight of Swords. <laughs> Fast moving, hasty. I would be careful with any kind of impulse, uh, uh, impulsive. But I do feel like a, a need, a wanting to break free from something really badly. You just want to jump in with two feet. But Spirit is saying, hold on a minute. Make sure that your emotions and you are centered and you are balanced first within you. That you're not making any decisions from any kind of impulse. Yeah, it's a warning here against impulsive actions at this time. You want to have some self-control. So that's where temperance comes in. Tell me here about strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength. <clears throat> so we have a queen of swords. That wanted to come out upright, but then it flipped in reverse. Okay. Watch your words. I'm getting as well. Okay. You could be triggering people in your life or you could be getting triggered as well when there's something here that again there's a head over heart decision with strength representing heart there's a choice a decision that is in the process of being and it could be something about facing your fear of yours or somebody in your energy okay again with the ego right so uh, Sagittarius is known to kind of be very bold and very assertive and very direct and blunt with, with your words. So you are, you could, it's like, it feels like your air intuition is like pulling you in one direction, but there is some kind of self doubt or fear or uncertainty or something that could be coming up for you here. That's telling you. To hold on right so you're sitting on the fence about something here maybe something you want to say you want to get something off of your chest why is the queen of swords here in reverse with strength the magician it's regarding some kind of form of communication or action that you want to take 
It could be needed to believe in yourself when it comes to your creativity. And what, okay, I heard spirits say, watch, be kind to yourself, watch your words, because your words is your wand, is manifesting really powerfully. You're manifesting fast. This, the three of wands is a card of divine timing. Wait for divine timing. Divine timing is at play here. <clears throat> right now we're strategizing, we're planning, we're forward planning. We're not making any, at least until we have some kind of clarity. Again, the Mercury card here with the magician. I have all the resources I, I need, inner and outer. Without clarifying the strength card, it does feel like, you know, needing to believe in oneself here. And watching your words, what you're speaking about yourself, your life, your situation. Be kind to yourself. Speak what you want into your reality. Cancel, clear, and delete everything. Any thought or words that comes from you that's not what you want. And watch out for manipulation and gossip as well at this time. Avoid it at all costs. Uh, meaning, watch what you're absorbing and listening to online. The, your surroundings, right? The people you're around. Somebody may have... a. Uh, uh, annoyed you or upset you and you're kind of holding back from what you want to say so get it out of you by journaling it remember not doing others the way they did you is what's going to keep your blessings coming watch out for karma you are manifesting your desires right now so direct your will where you want it to go any kind of doubt any kind of doubt any kind of resistance any kind of hesitation or negative self-talk kills the magic Create delays and slows down your process, your progress. You could have jealous people around you. That is probably uh, uh, envious and jealous and cursing your and cursing your life with this magician and the queen of swords. Because you're in this energy here of abundance and independence, taking good care of yourself, loving yourself, this uh, financial freedom, emotional freedom. You know, looking good, smelling good, self-sufficient energy here. There could be people in your life and in your environment that's bothered by that. You could be triggering people is what I'm saying. Which I posted on Instagram last night all about that. And, and that could, maybe that's what you're meant to do. As a speaker, you're meant to trigger people because it, it, awake, it helps to awaken. It triggers their awakening, their self-awareness and their healing. And if that is your mission, then accept it graciously, right? It is what it is. And it's like, I feel like you're in this unbothered energy. Tell me about this three of wands for Sagittarius. Yeah, there's a new beginning. A leap of faith here that you're debating on right now. It could be a confidence thing, having confidence. There's a new beginning. You guys could be going on an adventure, wanting to travel abroad, wanting to travel the world. Spirit is saying, go for it. You could be second guessing this. <laughs> uh, there's a, there's a, a, a love connection here. Uh, somebody could be wanting to come towards you, but they're afraid of your wrath. Queen of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> you, you may be holding back from t communicating with somebody. But Mercury is here. That we're in Mercury retrograde. You have a, a a connection, a relationship that's coming in here. Okay, for you, a beginning of an of a of a relationship. Oh wow. Okay, the story is changing a little bit with at the bottom of the deck. This may be reversed. This may be reversed. This I could be talking to somebody in about somebody in your energy. Cross watcher energy. Okay. Somebody here is in sadness, guilt, shame, regret, despair, grieving energy, feeling a lot of regret over some kind of decision that they made, which was the wrong one. They got a tower moment, a sudden change and upheaval in their life when it comes to some kind of commitment and relationship they were in. There's a lot of arguing and fighting. This could be you or somebody in your energy, okay? And uh, it looks like this person could be leaving the manipulation here and, uh, and the gossiping and uh, 
verbal abuse that I'm picking up on could be coming from somebody in this person's life. And that's what they're breaking free from. And they could be coming towards you or you could be going towards this person. There's a brand new beginning here with the fool. When it comes to love and a relationship. I feel like you're letting this go with the surrender to play. You're letting this go. You're, you're coming into a good balance. You're trying to look at the bigger picture when it comes to this situation. You're putting a lot of work onto yourself, into your craft, your purpose. I feel like this new beginning is right around the corner for you here. And I do feel like <clears throat> you are um, releasing it and that's why it's coming in. Because when we surrender to pray, to play and pray uh, and from overthinking some kind of a goal, right? Which is whatever this is, it's tying you up. It's not comfortable for you. This could be also somebody here that's calling, cutting cords, that's calling Archangel Michael to, to break them free from a situation that they've been in, creating some kind of a strategy to get out of some kind of community situation. Yeah, the thinking man, masculine energy, right? They're caught up in some kind of, we saw the five of wands. So this person here is breaking free. I'm reading it both ways. Like, like it could be you or, or somebody in your energy is breaking free from a situation where they felt that they were stuck in. And again, a lighthearted energy here. We have Aries and Aquarius. So there's, it's freedom. It's freedom, okay? Go on an adventure. Again, they could be at a distance for you. There could be some traveling here. So there's a brand new beginning that's ahead. And that's the strategy. That's the planning ahead. There's a coming together, a spiritual union that you have with a, a important soulmate. That's a very healing connection here. And there's a lot of love. Two people here. It's very compatible. That loves each other deeply. There's a lot of... Again, somebody feels this pull. This magnetic pull. This is a spiritual connection. And you may have had a past life with this person. It's a very strong connection. There's a lot of loyalty. A lot of devotion here. And somebody has been taming themselves. And holding themselves back from this action. But I feel like they almost can't anymore. It's a strong pull. They're, they're magnetically pulled to you. Okay? This is a harmonious relationship that's mutual love, mutual respect, mutual admiration. I water you, you water me. It's an emotional, uh, deeper intimacy, emotional connection, emotional compa compatibility here. Uh, mutual love. This is an unbreakable bond. It's a very healing connection, a very healing bond. So you're, it feels like you're in the process of coming into union with somebody here very soon. But it's going to happen when you surrender to play here and let go and see the bigger picture of the whole situation. And, and balance is being restored. The angel of balance is bringing in a lot of balance into your life at this time. Uh, it's time for this. This is a very balanced relationship, a very healing and transformative, a life-changing, healing, transformative relationship. You also have money coming your way as well with this prosperity. Welcome abundance into your life. Prosperity is on its way to you. Have faith that source is going to heal your financial challenges. Whatever you're working on here in Capricorn energy, uh, when it comes to your purpose and your work, that's paying off. I feel like that's what you've been focused on when you're focusing on yourself. It's taking a lot of strength here, a lot of patience, a lot of courage uh, when it comes to this manifestation, okay? Inner and outer strength. It's been hard. With the strength card being here, you have to muster up the inner and outer strength. It's been hard. Yeah, it's almost over. And don't give up on love. It's almost over <laughs> again i said it's as soon as i said it's been hard your current challenges will soon be resolved and you'll be able to look to the future with a smile it could be you that's dealing with this uh drama surrender the drama and this uh, trying to fighting you're fighting you're it's like warfare spiritual fighting to get out of a situation so you can reunite with your true love or somebody in your energy 
A relationship you cherish can be healed. I really uh, allow me to clear away for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. So doing doing some work, right? Uh, heart chakra healing work with uh, strength card being here. Heart chakra healing work, forgiveness work. We're uh, meditating with Archangel Samuel, Archangel Raphael. It's time to embark on a brand new beginning. Somebody's getting ready to, you know, to take that next step. Right here, lots of movement. You stay in feminine energy of receiving. What else, Archangel Michael? Please. Con take control of your thoughts. Yeah. That's why spirit wants you to ba create a balance, to raise your vibration, to let go and just uh, stop focusing on this so much and have fun in your life. Stay, be content. Be in that nine of pentacles energy of enjoying your life fully, being in the present moment, allowing for everything to unfold as it should in perfect divine order and perfect divine timing. Everything is aligning and manifesting in perfect divine order and perfect divine timing. <clears throat> Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. Remember I said that. Your thoughts are creating a reality. Sagittarius tends to be a uh, very positive energy. The spirit wants you to raise your vibration. Get out there. Come into harmony and balance within yourself. Go, do Listen to the let go affirmations. Okay. To free you. It's like you're, you're, you're uh, too much attached to this outcome. Too much attached to the when and the how. Because you, you're feeling the telepathy, you're feeling the soul connection, you're feeling this person uh, pull towards you, right? You're feeling the magnetic pull, magnetic souls here. So it's like there's a strong telepathy, it's like you feel this coming. It's like the more you guys uh, connect in the heart area, uh, the hearts are united. Uh, you know, the more you feel this person's energy. So it's like, it's suffocating you. It's making you feel uncomfortable. It's taking you out of balance. So watch your thoughts. Take control of your thoughts. Queen of Swords in reverse. Take control. Strength card. Right here is control. Self-control. Take control of your thoughts and direct it. Willpower with your willpower. Directing your will towards what you do want to create. Believing in, in, in you know looking out towards what you're trying to create and visualize, see, feel, believe, imagine, sit in the life that you want for yourself here, okay? Or with this person. Uh, it's like certainty, having confidence without a shadow of a doubt and certainty that this is coming in for you. You're manifesting it. It's like believing, having a lot of faith and a lot of trust that everything is unfolding for you um, trusting your intuition that everything is unfolding exactly how it should in perfect divine order and, and timing and trust. You're not seeing it, but you're feeling it. And it's like, believe that if you believe you, you're what you believe your belief system is what you're creating right now. So it's very important right now that, uh, again, it's been, it feels like it's been a long, a long time coming. This is a long time coming. Okay. Divine timing is approaching here. And um, you're finally getting your, your manifestation, but it's like you're at the tail end of this. So you're at the tail end of this, uh, waiting here for this to come, for your new beginning. So right now it's important that you trust in divine purpose and look at the bigger picture. And immerse yourself in your purpose. Maybe take, yeah, as I said that, embrace your life purpose, take your power back. Increase your knowledge, take a course, focus on that and have fun doing the things that you love to do. I'm guiding you towards your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart feel joyful is what you're meant to be doing. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. You're being guided to, um, get, you know, to get out of this, uh, mindset of, of, uh, attachment and waiting and let go and enjoy your life. Um, be very content and happy where you are in your life. Be very grateful for where you are. Uh, maybe do a gratitude list, write down and script your perfect day or your perfect, your vision for yourself, create a vision board, focus on the things that you want when it comes to this relationship or for your purpose, your career and your life. 
any kind of negative self-talk or negative speaking negativity into your life you want to cancel clear and delete that right and maybe do a uh cancel clear uh cancel clear delete archangel michael meditation by pure rasa alchemize the energy transmute the energy use affirmations and mantras do whatever you can be conscious and aware of your thoughts and um bring yourself back okay any kind of doubt is going to create more delays on this manifestation to come in here for you all right so um it's almost over this is a long time coming but it is but it is here the divine timing is arriving okay i'm gonna also pull from romance angels but before i do that let me get you guys a message from this little angel deck Okay, for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius. Hope. Don't lose hope. Hope indicates that the sun is about to come out in an area of your life. It's almost over. Whatever struggle, whatever hard work, whatever, you know, the stress and, and the feeling tied up, feeling like stuck and stagnant, like you can't move, that's changing. The angel wisdom reminds you that your spirit is immensely resilient and powerful. You have to call, call in. It's been hard. You have to call in your inner strength. So keep the faith with your dreams and visions. Keep the faith. Remember the universe wants you to have. Remember I said is you're going to need to have a lot of faith right now. Negative thinking is going to slow down your blessings. You are the witch of the zodiac. You are a powerful manifester. It's like it's time to capitalize on your gifts to direct capitalize on your gifts and direct your energy towards what you want to create as above so below remember that as within so without remember that the universe wants you to have your heart's desire it's coming your heart's desire is coming to fruition it is it is simply one waiting for you to believe you deserve it before the angels bring it to you mm, believe you deserve it and then it will arrive the second you are in this uh you, you release uh you have confidence and you're kind to yourself and you work on your self-esteem on your confidence and your self-worth and self-love which there are affirmations and meditations to all of that on the community board i've been doing this work myself do your part by deciding what you truly want and then send out positive thoughts then send out positive thoughts to for the for the changes here you seek and for the fulfillment of your wishes ask the angels for help and they will fan the sparks of potential and bring them to life hope is a magnetic quality which attracts the great and beautiful into your life don't lose hope don't give up on love some of you guys this is a long time coming and that's and that's why right i am eternally optimistic that's your energy that is Sagittarius energy after all. Let me pull from Romance Angels for you. What is the message for Sagittarius for love? I can't emphasize this enough. What is uh, the message for Sagittarius? Stay optimistic about your love life. And playfulness again. I can't make this stuff up. An engagement and wedding. Okay? So your dream here for getting married, for getting engaged, for your relationship moving to the next level of commitment is, is coming in here for you. If that's what you're manifesting, visualize your wedding day. Visualize getting engaged. Look at rings. Look at dress. Manifest. Law of attraction. Align your energy direct your energy towards what you want okay you got to feel it completely believe in it wholeheartedly positive thinking and faith is going to bring you romance stay optimistic we have multiple cards of that here okay and then we have playfulness surrender to play and playfulness to recapture romance, that lighthearted energy of playfulness, which is this energy as well. Fifth house energy is playful energy. Leo represents the child and children. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Again, playful energy, innocence, okay? Being very lighthearted, 
carefree. That's the energy right now that's going to bring this in. That's going to attract this in. Okay, for you. So lighthearted energy. So useful spirit that work on your heart chakra. Meditate with Archangel Raphael. Shamuel. Do heart chakra meditations. Use, our, use meditative mind or um, meditative mind. Brian Scott has a wonderful chakra meditations. Sagittarius. Okay, ground your energy and um, focus on your own ha being happy, enjoying your life fully, staying content in the present moment, spend time in nature, and then everything will unfold. This is a long time coming. It's finally arriving for you. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love and support. Namaste, family. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, for scheduling on personal readings with me. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Namaste. Until next time.